Some websites and photography blogs have reported that Olympus has filed a patent to uh, track stars with their cameras. Sadly, all of the English language mentions of those patents that I have seen are wrong. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a new patent that has been filed uh, from by Olympus about using the in-body uh, stabilization of their cameras to follow stars so that you could take long exposures of stars with just a camera. Except that's not at all what the patent is about because this feature has already been invented by Pentax. Um, like 10 years ago, something like that. It's called Astro Tracer by Pentax. And indeed, it will use the in-body image stabilization system to basically follow the stars um, as they uh, move around the sky. And they, they, they use a GPS and direction sensor and accelerometer and inclination sensors to uh, really compute how the sensor should be moving. It's a great little system. And I've been using it recently in some of my videos, which I'll point to above if you're interested. Olympus does not plan on doing the same thing. And But if you look uh, at the English language articles like uh, this one that I have on the screen, you'd think like, okay, it's a new Astro Tracer feature. Um, to uh, to keep uh, track of stars and um, to do a, a better implementation of that feature. And that's not it, because let's have a look at the actual patent. And what's very interesting and what none of the articles seem to mention is uh, the uh, first line in the uh, overall patent summary, which is here. And that first line, or that first two lines actually, is saying that by integrating an alt as mount with the in-body image stabilization of a camera, we'd be able to do astrophotography as if we had an equatorial mount, but with a, a, a setup that is simple and cheap, meaning alt as mount, right? Suddenly, things become different because the tracking of the stars is not done by the camera, it's done by an alt as mount. And just from reading that, we can guess that the camera in-body image stabilization will just do derotation because when you use an alt as mount, which can just move horizontally and vertically like that to keep track of stars in the altitude or azimuth direction, the actual rotation of the object as they move across the sky is not taken into account. So with a camera in body image stabilization system, you could rotate the sensor to actually keep track of that rotation. Pretty neat idea, but again, not at all what the English websites have said. And it's interesting as well because the very first drawing after the overall drawing is this, which is a drawing of an altazimus mount upon which a camera is set. And uh, we have the same thing later on in, uh, I think, uh, 11, where we can see an alt as mount with a lens or telescope and a camera attached at the rear end. Again, it feels fairly obvious that this is not an Astro Tracer feature. Now, what the patent does do is they actually reference the Astro Tracer patent. And they basically say that um, with uh, Astro Tracer, by using the uh, IBIS in body image stabilization system, um, you're able to uh, follow the stars. But as you have to take multiple exposures and then stack them, combining and the, uh, combine them in the end, while you're imaging, the uh, object is actually drifting outside of your field of view. So after stacking, you'll need to crop a lot of your image. And the more images you have, the more you need to crop, which is absolutely true. Of course, they forget to mention that you can just recenter your subject. Uh, but, you know, I, I understand that it's painful to do. Um, and this cropping problem is what they say that they want to solve with uh, this uh, patent. Again, not the same thing. And uh, if we look at, again, the claim right after that patent, then that some articles have, they, they've translated this paragraph, but they haven't translated that one, uh, which again says that we will connect or integrate an alt as mount with the in-body image stabilization system. Uh, again, it's a super cool feature. It would be nice to have a super simple setup uh, where you have just an alt as mount 
and a D rotator that's in the camera. It would be super cool to have that actually in astrophotography cameras or to have a cheap D rotator uh, being provided by ZW, for instance. Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, but again, it is a bit different. Um, so yeah, if you've seen those articles, uh, I just wanted to let you know um, they're probably not quite correct if you're reading them in English. I haven't read through the whole patent, but just looking at this, I'm pretty sure that their meaning uh, combining with an alt as mount, which means that it leaves uh, field rotation to, um, to basically counter with the in-body image stabilization system. Although I really want to read this a bit more because I'm wondering what they're gonna do about um, errors in, or, uh, in basically if the camera lens is pointing in the different different direction than the actual alt azimuth mount axis pointing axis. And because if that's the case, the uh, rotation might be much more visible on the sensor. And I believe that they will be using the sensors on the camera itself to figure out where the camera is pointing versus where the mount thinks it is pointing and that's why their patent actually includes the hand controller and uh, a connection with the mount itself so it needs to have information from the mount to be able to perform that derotation rather than just the camera direction and um, pointing direction but before I go into all of the details there's a lot of things that Olympus needs to consider for their uh, actual invention. Now, if they're going to produce anything like that or update a firmware for camera, I don't know. But I still think it's a cool idea. It's a cool thing. It's just not what I've seen uh, the English media saying. So, yeah, um, now you know. <laughs> Probably not very interesting to uh, to many of you, but I still think it's a super cool kind of uh, kind of feature. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something. And uh, as always, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you're new to the channel, feel free to go down below, click that subscribe button. If you are interested in astrophotography, I promise you won't regret it. And uh, with that, uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars if the, stars, if the skies are clear. And I'll see you next time.